uh, Iftida's creation and it's been a success story of Iftida. Uh, Iftida or unki executive committee ki taraf se or sare members ki taraf se hum aap sab logon ka swagat karte hain is Iftida ke drawing room mein jahan par hum sab ek hi parivar ke log hain aapas mein baith ke baatein karenge aur uh, ek discipline हम हर वक्त मेंटेन करते हैं जो एक डिसिप्लिन डायरेक्टर का डिसिप्लिन होता है कहीं बीच में किसी किस्म की चुपकार नहीं होनी चाहिए लेट अस रिस्पेक्ट दोस मास्टर्स हु हैव कम आर शेयरिंग एंड गिविंग सो मच ऑफ टाइम टू अस सर्टेन इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स व्हिच आई शुड लाइक टू आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू ऑल द मोबाइल्स ऑन साइलेंट और ऑन ऑफ मोड no shooting is allowed via mobiles because there are certain reasons why we we are doing this so we uh, proceed further with this event while the question answer session is being done jab hum aap se guzarish karenge ki sawal farhan se ya sudhir se puchhenge to teen char sawal bilkul allowed nahi hai mic le liya jayega aur unko bitha diya jayega एक आपका मोबाइल नंबर क्या है दूसरा आपका ईमेल आईडी क्या है तीसरा मैंने ऑडिशन दिया था आपके ऑफिस में लेकिन उसका जवाब नहीं आया वो जवाब कब आएगा इस फॉर द एक्टर्स मैंने आपको स्क्रिप्ट भेजी थी लेकिन उसका कोई जवाब नहीं आया उसका रीजन ये है कि ये जो डेढ़ दो घंटे हमें इनके साथ मिले हैं हम चाहते हैं कि हम सारे लोग इनके एक्सपीरियंस से कुछ सीखें टेक्निकल सवाल हो इनके फिल्मों के बारे में कुछ सवाल हो वो आपने शॉट कैसे लिया वो सीन कैसे कंसीव किया तो मुझे लगता है कि वो ज़्यादा बेटर होगा हम लोगों के लिए इस पूरे टाइम का इस्तेमाल करने के लिए एंड आई होप यू ऑल विल एग्री टू व्हाट इफ्टा इज रिक्वेस्टिंग यू टू डू टू बिगिन विथ आई रिक्वेस्ट माई जनरल सेक्रेटरी अश्विनी चौधरी टू कम ऑन द स्टेज Ashwini uh, Chaudhary is a uh, national award winner he has made more than 6 films a uh, talented director and he is a general secretary of iftida main guzarish karunga abhi hamare jo aaj ke moderator hain jo ki hindustan ke cinema ke bahut hi naam chheen director hain writer hain aur producer hain aur hum unke shukrguzar hain ki unhone hamari har request ko mana और इफ्टा के साथ वो खड़े हुए आई एल इनवाइट नन एज देन मिस्टर सुधीर मिश्रा और मॉडर द स्टेट प्लीज मिस्टर सुधीर मिश्रा विदाउट वेटिंग फॉर मोर टाइम आज हमारे जो बीच में है हिंदुस्तान के एक बहुत ही नामी ग्रामी डायरेक्टर एक्टर जिन्होंने हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में एक मुकाम पाया और देश दुनिया में हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को एक ऊंचाई पर ले गए आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू गिव अ स्टैंडिंग ओवेशन टू नन एज दैन फरान अख्तर Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would request uh, my senior vice president uh, Thakur Tapasvi to give a poster of Sudhir to Sudhir Mishra. This is a poster which is uh, designed uh, and made by our director member Saurabh Verma, who is a very talented director also. I request uh, Ashwini uh, Choudhary to present uh, a bouquet to uh, Sudhir Mishra, who is a moderator today. There's a trophy uh, to Sudhir Mishra on behalf of Iftada. Thank you. Now I request Sudhir to present 
hand over the trophy to Farhan. Trophy to <laughs> Farhan Akhtar. The trophy which we have hand done for Farhan. Farhan, when Iftira's member was made, there was a form that we had to enlarge and frame it. Today, Farhan is presenting it. I am sure Farhan must have not been remembering what signed on that form while he became our member. There is a form. Thank you very much. Thank you. And a new uh, digital identity card to Farhan so that he can keep it with him. We are stamping, you know, everything and confirming. Thank you. There is a small... Idea. Thank you very much. So we begin with this uh, master class and I um, believe that the instructions we have given, you will believe those instructions. And Farhan, uh, we are really thankful to you on behalf of everybody that you spared time for us and uh, an opportunity to all the students, to assistant directors, to directors, to writers, to have shared time with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Farhan. It's a pleasure to be here. Over to you. Over to you, Sudhir. Thank you. Thank you. It was a little strange to me. Because when you stood up and clapped, I was feeling quite proud, you know. Because I know this kid from since he was very young. And it gives me, I mean, I have this fortune of, of uh, knowing two generations of film industry often, you know, sometimes three. Uh, so I'm in the middle somewhere. So I know Basu Bhattacharya very well and then I was friends with Aditya Bhattacharya. So in fact, when I used to go to Basudha's house, he used to say, Kis se milne hai? Aditya se ki Basu? Musse. <laughs> so if you get milne hai, then go inside. If not, then go outside. So, I mean, I was, in a sense, one of the people who's influenced me in life, who gave me a home, who... I was in Lakhnau, Javed Akhtar was in Lakhnau. So, I was in a little bit of Lakhnau, when I was looking at the city, I was going to go to the city. जहाँ मुझे एक घर मिलता था, एक दोस्ती मिलती थी। हमेशा शुरू में जो मैंने कहा स्क्रिप्स जावेद साहब के साथ एक थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी है कि मतलब मैंने उनको एक कहानी सुनाई किसी चीज की तो वो घर गए शबाना से कहा उन्होंने कि मुझे एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग सा लड़का मिला सुधीर मिश्रा तो शबाना कुछ दिन में आप देखेगा वो मेरा फैन होगा और मैं आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स आई वाज क्वाइट हिस फैन ही बिकेम माय एल्डर ब्रदर आई स्पेंड अ लॉन्ग टाइम विथ हिम इन विच आई मेट फरान सो सॉरी बट दिस दिस वाज मे बी नॉट नेसेसरी बैकग्राउंड इज ऑलवेज सो लाइक आई सेड इट्स मेक्स मी प्राउड बट एक्टर डायरेक्टर सिंगर writer so you started out as a director i think ended as a as an actor you started out as a writer became direct directed that film that you wrote then you know acted and then you know also participated in the music became a That's singer right. so when you go back and now when you're thinking of directing again hmm. How does this journey affect you? Uh, well, I think to start with, every experience, huh. I mean, in life matters. Yeah. You know, so it, it informs you about certain things mm. that you probably were unaware of or then reiterate certain beliefs mm. that you have or certain values that you have. Um, so similarly, I mean, life has progressed in its own way. Mm. Um, I always have been interested in film and in entertaining people. And I feel very fortunate that I have a chance to entertain people from different ways. It's like a writer, writing, direction, acting, production. Or the band of Farhan Live, I go to colleges. So for me, that interaction is very, very important. I think the only thing that I have learned in terms of how it's helping my direction I, th it's, I feel every single thing is liberating me further and further creatively. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's also giving me an understanding of the actor's psyche, yeah. um, of a performer's psyche. Um, and at times, because I, I didn't go to film school, 
तो मुझे लगा कि जब आप सेट पे जाओगे और अगर कोई एक्टर सेट पे आएगा तो ही शुड कम प्रिपेयर्ड और शी शुड कम प्रिपेयर्ड डायरेक्टर्स आई मीन एज मच वी हैव अ ट्रेडिशन ऑफ गुरुज यू नो एंड टीचर्स बट वेन वी ग्रू वेन वी वर लर्निंग फ्रॉम वेन वी वर वर्किंग एंड लर्निंग वी नेवर रियली looked at the person as a teacher we were just there doing our jobs we were told mm. off if we were not yeah. doing it right <laughs> you know punished if we were not doing it right um and similarly i feel khas taur se jab aap ek ek genuine motion picture bana rahe hain aap set pe ja rahe hain aap professionals ko hire kar rahe hain to wahan par aapka matlab in any case aapke itne sare responsibilities hain to try and accomplish the film ke somehow to say that ab main ja ke teaching bhi karunga वहाँ पे यू नो आई डोंट फील दैट्स माय जॉब यू नो सो आई ऑलवेज फील दैट फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड गो दैट व्हेन आई गो एन एक्टर कैमरामैन द एडिटर द म्यूजिक कंपोजर्स दे शुड नो दे जॉब यू नो एंड आई एम अ साउंडिंग बोर्ड फॉर देम कि मैं जाऊंगा वो परफॉर्म करेंगे या क्रिएट करेंगे और मैं उन्हें अपनी फीलिंग बताऊँगा उस चीज़ के बारे में एंड आई रियलाइज ओवर टाइम के इट्स नॉट सो कट एंड ड्राई um i i think i was very very black and white uh-huh. about you, it you when i started a director also kind of shrink yeah i think yeah. so i uh-huh. i think and you have to become a confidant uh-huh. of those people, people yeah. you have to earn their trust hmm. you have to get them to trust you um and it's as professional as the relationship is it goes beyond that like you're saying yeah. into some kind of a territory hmm. which uh, unfortunately only lasts long as the duration of the shooting of that film yeah. you know the making of that yeah. film and those bonds that are formed you really really miss them mm. uh, when the film is done but that learning i think of trying to understand the insecurities of an actor and all actors i think no matter how big a star the actor is mm. and i've been fortunate to work mm. with some really really big stars mm. um all of them have insecurities mm. you know and somehow from the outside you won't think that, think that yeah. you know you think that i mean is ki sari film mein to chal rahi hai why why is he insecure ah. you know but they still want appreciation they still want the director not to just say chalo cut move on you know they ah. very good art to you know they yeah. want ah, some ah, genuinely ah, ah. genuine ap- appreciation not not fake and not fraud um and <coughs> all this was learning for me because mm. uh, this all i learned while i was while i was going through this journey i read an interview of yours which you did with mayan shekhar some years ago hmm. where you said that the course that you would like to go into you've not yeah gone into formal training but the training that you would like to go into is writing why yeah. i mean janisar akhtar javed akhtar uh, paran akhtar but then the one thing that you say is 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 that i would like right. to do that why क्योंकि मतलब जो किसी भी आई मीन दिस यू नो सुधीर आई थिंक बेटर देन मोस्ट यू नो द जेनेसिस ऑफ एनी थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट स्पेशली इन आर फील्ड स्टार्ट्स विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइटिंग एंड हैविंग समथिंग टू से यू नो दिस एनीबडी कैन सिट डाउन एंड राइट समथिंग ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर हाउ गुड इज इट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इज इट हाउ रेलिवेंट इज इट इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस टू बी शेड यू नो द सेल्फ Uh, analysis that yeah this is not good hmm. you know so you educate yourself about other writers you educate yourself about film film appreciation um and this to me i think is probably the greatest strength that you can have in every department ah not just as a director hmm. i feel whether you're a producer whether you're an actor whether uh, you're uh, an editor hmm. uh, whether uh, you're uh, composing music i think if you have an understanding of writing hmm. and if you have an understanding of character of a graph of a screenplay um and you can f- somehow because of training your mind um and training your emotions to a certain extent be slightly more accessible hmm. you know to arrive at places where you feel something is not right and be able to vocalize it as opposed to hmm. say nahi mujhe theek nahi lag raha kyun hmm. nahi lag raha kyun nahi lag raha you know because a lot of people will say no i mean sometimes it didn't work for me uh, but what didn't work what for you did, they are not uh, able to say uh, uh, so to be able to arrive to be able to vocalize it hmm. and that i think comes with some amount of education i think that's very very very, very correct so, like if you sorry but i mean uh, if you if you uh, meet a western cameraman hmm. for instance he never talks technique with you talk story yeah. feeling that's true ha na absolutely yahan pe nahi hota wo so i think maybe hmm. don't you think that if everybody did that one I mean, if you came into cinema like you are saying yeah. through the process of writing, through understanding what you are trying to say, the mood you are trying to create, the feeling you are trying yeah. to generate, yeah. that overall you would make better films. I, I would imagine. I would yeah. imagine that if there was a basic 
better like there's just a general level of understanding of writing if right. that was slightly higher uh, higher i think uh, we would definitely be making consistently better content mm -hmm. than we than we end up making when you make a film and we there are students how many students are there from from your writing or directing or the technical side here most of them are acting students yeah. how many are acting students So yeah, Did but you I mean, when you said writing and direction, one by one some hands came up. <laughs> Three came up there very quickly, and then somebody <laughs> made a jar and maybe dal de to. The minute after, you are acting. Man, there's a difference. Ah, very good. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, Salim Javed gave this status to a writer, but then they, after them again, the writing <laughs> department is a bit. Yeah, I mean, there are many jokes about them which are not very. family audience type so <laughs> we won't make them but uh, let's say i mean uh, you know when you when you make a film mm. right you you've, you've uh, completed the film from the intention because you're doing everything the idea stems from you yeah. uh, let's take dil jata hai you know mm. uh, as an example but any, any film that you choose when you have uh, when you shot the film and you are at the editing how different is it from what you've imagined uh you know i what was what is incredible about editing uh -huh. is that you can completely make another story yeah that's what's amazing about it mm. um and uh, that i mean i think for, with dil chahta hai on some level i think is i was very uh, uh, fortunate i think because of being exceedingly sure Mm. about the kind of movie that i wanted mm. to make mm. also um, i was in a place where i had nothing to lose mm. you know so you somehow get a certain arrogance with that because kya bigad lega mera koi kuch hai nahi bigad de ke liye you know so you really dig your heels in uh. with stuff that you believe in mm. because there's nothing <coughs> that you you don't you don't worry about the future mm. um and uh, with that film i think also many um positive and very uh, good energies i think collaborated on that film mm -hmm. you know so be it be it the cast that came together for that film be it uh, ritesh as a first time producer yeah. you know so he wasn't somebody you could turn around and say yaar maine 50 filme banayi hai aise kyu kar raha hai you know even he was learning <laughs> yeah that's you right. know so there were and uh, ravi k chandran was relative i mean he had done a lot of films in the yeah. south yeah. but he had done like i'd seen virasat a film that he had mm -hmm. shot mm -hmm. which i loved um and he was also wanting still making a mark shankar mm. asan loy were also new you know so there were a lot of new people mm. uh, working on that film and everyone was very eager everyone was very hungry mm. uh, and we just i think lucked out you know with with the way that that crew and that cast came together mm. and so there was no uh, creative difference because nobody was coming from a place i think the most experience probably was maybe dimple you know followed by amir mm. would be second Uh, in terms of work experience but um, and they all bought into the idea they bought into the script they recognize ke isme kuch hai that they've not seen before um, on film at least in a hindi film mm -hmm. context yeah wo nahi dekha hai and the kind of characters the way they're speaking the way they're dressing the way they are with each other mm. uh, it's a new kind of friendship being shown yeah. that we've not seen and they respected that mm. you know uh, so that actually to me was my easiest film to make usually people mm. struggle with their first film yeah that's right you know for me my first film was the easiest one my big struggle really happened on the on the second one <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean everybody uh, has one film let's say uh, and everybody says persian say that the best story is that which combines what you have seen and heard with what has happened to you mm. right matlab jo sabse achhi kahani wo hoti hai jo aap जिससे गुजरे हो जो आप पे गुजरी हो वो और जो आपने देखा और सुना हो तो बाहर की जिंदगी और हाउ मच ऑफ दैट हैपेंस हाउ मच ऑफ योर सेल्फ डू यू ट्राई एंड सी और और आई मीन लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल देयर इज अ डिफरेंस यू नो व्हेन यू मेक दिल चाहे देन व्हेन यू मेक डॉन या या आई मीन सो आई आई थिंक बट इफ एट ऑल देयर इज अ सिमिलैरिटी इज अम लाइक टू मी दिल चाहता है वाज अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ लाइफ you know that um, uh, my friends and me lived i mean of course you make it slightly exaggerated in the film to make it more exciting yeah, yeah. but uh, that was the kind of life uh, with dawn i think it was really more um, a, a kind of trip down memory lane for me 
hmm. and uh, the films that I grew up watching. So it, there was an attachment to it. They say you, know? you love Die Hard. I love Die Hard. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I, so I mean, huh. does does the watching of Die Hard affect Dawn when you make a film like that, or, or no? Uh, n- yes and no, because hmm. I feel like in Dawn Two, for example, I got an opportunity to do a high situation in a building. Hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, and uh, in that, like, for my mind was just like, man, I'm making my own Die Hard over here, so let me have, <laughs> let me have fun with it. Huh. But um, like, I remember so clearly, like, I'm a huge uh, 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 Bachchan fan. Hmm. Uh, my growing years were predominantly watching his movies, hmm. um, and I enjoyed all his films. But there was something very special to me about Don hmm. always, hmm. and I think that was that for the first time, an actor who I loved so much hmm. uh, scared me in a film. Hmm. You know, when you see him as the evil Don, hmm. I huh. mean, now it looks like a little bit kitsch and a little bit campy, maybe. Yeah. You know, but when you see it hmm. at that time, when uh. um, he turns around and he shoots that guy and he's so cool and collected and, yeah. you know, he can kill hmm. anyone. I was like, man, why am I, I'm, I, got, I got scared of him. Hmm. And I'm like, how can a guy who I love so much scare me hmm. in a movie? Hmm. You know, and that's why that film really, really stayed hmm. with me. So when I was just kind of thinking about what to make next after lunch, um i just somehow i was listening to the background score which i think was spanking mm. by kalyanji anandji yeah um so i was listening to that and i just told zoya i was uh, i told zoya you know i said somebody really should remake don mm. it's an amazing film to remake mm. and zoya just said why don't you do it because you love it so much mm. and that's really just how it kind of <laughs> how it kind of <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean uh the only time i mean of course you worked ja- javed sahab Uh, with in as as a lyricist in all the films yeah but uh, the only time when you've turned to a screenplay by him is laksh yeah so i mean how how does that come about and how how is that i mean it could be i'm not specific to saying that javed akhtar is your father you know right. but it's a senior sure. script writer sure. you know a man with a reputation a man right. with a point of view right. a man who comes despite you being father and son from another cultural right. background Right. with political views which may differ from you so this is not so how do you take that and how do you work with a senior script writer right. and who you being you, a if writer you, if you speak to him and tell him this he'll uh-huh. completely beg to differ and he'll be like main to youngster hi who uh-huh. so i don't know what cultural <laughs> <Right>. differences <laughs> exist between uh-huh. me and him uh-huh. but uh, you know must tell you what about he is uh, i mean <laughs> in, in terms of i mean javed akhtar once told me he was sitting in a uh, in bought a treadmill So uh, you know, I said, "Just have a treadmill." But a few days later, it will be like that. I will open the door and say, "Son, where is your papa?" And in that treadmill, he told me that the treadmill Shabana called me. Shabana called me and said, "Listen, Javed has to start exercising. So please, buy him a treadmill for his house because he is not going to go out and walk on the beach. He is not going to do that." So I said, "Okay." So I organized the treadmill. I sent it to the house. तो इनिशियली मतलब कुछ चार पांच दिन में भी एक हफ्ते तक वो बहुत डिलीजेंटली ट्रेडमिल पे वो चल रहे थे लेकिन उसके बाद जब मैं जा रहा था तो लॉन्ड्री के लिए मतलब एक स्टैंड बन चुका था तो उस पर टावल कुर्ते ये सारी चीजें दे वॉल ड्राइंग तो आई सेट अरे यार पा यू गॉट अ ट्रेडमिल नाउ यू नॉट इवन वॉकिंग नो द प्रॉब्लम इज कि दो कदम बाद मुझे लगता है कि हम रिपीटिंग मैसेज सो दैट्स Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry so coming back, <laughs> coming back to Laksh. Uh-huh. Uh Laksh actually uh, uh dad had gone for um uh, Kargil Divas. Wo gaye the uh, for uh, oper- operation Vijay ke liye jo yeah. hua tha. So he had gone for Kargil Divas to uh, to uh, Dras. Aur wahan par ek uh, memorial hai jo banaya gaya hai to all the the martyrs who lost their life mm. in the 99 uh, incursion. Um aur jab wo wahan the तो उस वक्त मतलब ऑफ कोर्स और आज भी है कि मतलब पीपल व सिंगिंग प्रेजेज फॉर द आर्मी इट वॉज एन अमेजिंग अमेजिंग फीट वॉट दे मैनेज टू अकॉम्पलिश एट दैट टाइम इन नाइन्टी नाइन और तो uh, एक उनकी मुलाकात वहाँ एक हुई एक सीनियर ऑफिसर से जो जिन्होंने उनसे कहा कि uh, आप देख रहे हैं पेपर में मतलब क्या लोग कह रहे हैं आर्मी ये आर्मी वो मतलब अच्छी अच्छी बातें हो रही हैं लेकिन मतलब ये एक इतनी दुख की बात है कि मतलब इसके बावजूद हर साल आर्मी में ऑफिसर्स जो एनरोल करते हैं वो कम होते जाते हैं तो पीपल आर सेम अंडरफुल थिंग्स बट नोबडी वांट्स टू सेंड देयर चाइल्ड टू डू दिस और एक वक्त था मतलब इट वाज अ वायबल करियर ऑप्शन फॉर समबडी इट वाज आई मीन इट स्टिल इज रिस्पेक्टफुल बट आई थिंक लाइक द सम वे द शाइन गॉट लॉस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन पीपल फेल्ड मनी मे नॉट बी इनफ व्हाई रिस्क माय चाइल्ड्स लाइफ ऑल दिस हैपेंड 
तो डैड एट दैट टाइम टोल्डिम कि जो आप कह रहे हैं बिल्कुल सही है मैं इसके बारे में सोचने वाला हूँ और इसके बारे में मैं कहानी लिखूंगा तो ही केम बैक एंड ही स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन द स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ लक्ष्य आई डेंट नो देन वन डे ही कॉल्ड मी सर मैंने कहानी लिखी है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बाउंस इट ऑफ यू तो मैंने एक बहुत ही मोटी मोटी थी वो कहानी तो उन्होंने मुझे सुनाई और मुझे मतलब आई फेल्ट वेरी मूव्ड बाई इट आई मीन अपार्ट फ्रॉम द फैक्ट ऑफ द डिटेल्स ऑफ द ऑफिसर्स एंड द ब्रेवरी ऑफ द ऑफिसर्स जो मेन कैरेक्टर था उसमें करण शेरगिल उससे मैं बहुत आइडेंटिफाई कर सकता था क्योंकि आई बीन थ्रू दैट इन माई लाइफ ऑफ बींग एब्सोल्यूटली कन्फ्यूज एंड नॉट नोइंग वॉट आई वॉन्ट एंड आई फील ऑन सम लेवल वेन आई फाउंड माई कॉलिंग इन फिल्म यू नो सिमिलरली ही फाइंड हिज कॉलिंग इन द आर्मी इन दैट इन दैट फिल्म सो आई रियली आइडेंटिफाइड विद दैट डिलेमा ऑफ अ यंग पर्सन हु इज एट टाइम्स जस्ट मे बी इन कॉलेज जस्ट आउट ऑफ कॉलेज और एक मतलब ये होता है कि आपको डिसाइड करना ही पड़ेगा कि आप जिंदगी भर क्या करेंगे मैं अभी अपने दोस्त से कुछ ही दिन पहले बात कर रहा था कि जब आप 16 साल के हों या 17 साल के हों देर सो मच ऑफ योर लाइफ लेफ्ट अहेड ऑफ यू यू नो बट यू आर आस्ट टू मेक वेरी वेरी बिग डिसीजन यू नो एंड सम पीपल हैव द क्लैरिटी ऐसा नहीं है दे हैव द क्लैरिटी ऑफ वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू डू बट देर मेनी पीपल हू डोंट यू नो एंड एट टाइम्स यू एंड मेकिंग बैड चॉइस यू नो दैट यू कैन रिग्रेट लेटर और देन यू विश यू हैड नॉट मेड दैट चॉइस तो दैट्स रियली हाउ इट स्टार्टेड एंड ही वॉज वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट इट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस फिल्म um and i completely was affected by his passion i felt as passionate about it as him mm-hmm. and i felt a tremendous affinity to the current current shergil mm-hmm. the character mm-hmm. in the film and now i must tell you an amazing story mm-hmm. because the film release the film did okay yeah. uh, at the box office it didn't do amazingly well it did it did kind of okay um and people were like whatever you know like opis nahi chali and it's a wonderful <laughs> thing in film industry to talk about films when they don't work ha bahut maza aata hai bahut maza तो ऐसा हमारे साथ भी तो ये सब हुआ आई आर अबाउट टू मंथ्स बैक रफली टू मंथ्स बैक मैं देहरादून गया था फॉर अ कॉन्सर्ट तो मैं लास्ट वहाँ गया था 2004 में जब फिल्म रिलीज हुई थी टू डू अ स्क्रीनिंग फॉर द पीपल दैट उसके बाद आई डेंट गेट अ चांस टू गो बैक तो मैं अभी जा रहा था दिस इज थर्टीन ईयर्स लेटर इन टू तो मैं मैं गया देहरादून और जब मैं मुझे पता चला कि वहाँ पर कॉन्सर्ट फिक्स हुआ है तो मैंने एक मैसेज भेजा आई को कि मैं आई एम कमिंग टू देहरादून आई रियली वुड लाइक टू कम एंड विजिट द आई एम अगेन सो दे वेरी हैप्पी दे वेलकम मी इट वाज वेरी वेरी नाइस सो आई मेट एवरी वर्ड यू देन दे टुक मी टू दिस न्यू मैस विच वॉज नॉट दैन टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर दे टुक मी दैंड वहाँ पर उन्होंने सारे जो कडेट्स हैं जेंटलमैन कडेट्स उन्हें बुलाते हैं उन सबको इकट्ठा किया हुआ था और मैंने उन्हें ये बताया कि किस वजह से क्यों लोगों ने पूछा कि आपने लक्ष्य क्यों बनाई ये सब तो मैंने यही कहानी उन्हें सुनाई तो जब मैं सुना रहा था उन्हें तो जो वहाँ के एजेंटेंट थे उन्होंने मुझसे कहा कि एक मिनट के मैं आपको कुछ दिखाना चाहूँगा तो उन्होंने कहा टुक द माइक एंड ई सेड आप सब में से जो जो यहाँ लक्ष्य देख कर एनरोल करने आए हैं आप अपने हाथों पर कीजिए एंड अबाउट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट पीपल पुत You know, and my hair is standing. I think you have it on. And uh, to me, what was amazing about it was it made me also think very, very strongly about how do you quantify the success of a movie. Yeah. कि अगर box office में फिल्म नहीं चले, that does that mean that the film is not successful? The film was made for this purpose. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't maybe do amazingly well at the box office, but when you see that, how do you put that? into numbers ah, or do, how do you, you quantify do. it to mm. say that this is actually the success of the movie yeah i mean a novel like uncle tom's cabin or Absolutely. something you know how how do you quantify yeah. that you know yeah. i mean it has yeah, yeah. there's so many films so it was it was a pleasure working uh, with him i think the one thing about working with him um and you've also had many experiences many, of sharing many, things yeah. uh, and work collaborating with him is he's a staunch believer in logic so he will never argue for the sake of argument he will agree with you if what you're saying is logical mm. he will disagree with you till kingdom come <laughs> you know if what you're saying makes no sense uh, you, you, you know, no of matter un- who understating you are, this you no know. matter who you are uh, uh. um and that makes it very easy to work with somebody like that because yeah, yeah. there there's no there's no hidden agenda no. you know he wants what's best for the film yeah. so i had a wonderful time working with him and now we are collaborating on another screenplay actually right now oh wow you don't want to talk about it right name there'll be a uh-huh. time for that so i mean uh, let's say if we explore the 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 
your method a bit more like how do you work with a with a with a cameraman i mean how 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 in at what time do you want to involve a cameraman in a film uh, you know at what point do you you know you mostly yeah. work we work with ravi you work with mohanan uh, i worked with ravi chandran i worked with mohanan i yeah. worked with jason west uh uh-huh, jason west um, and i worked with a uh, there was a dop who had come in from germany for lunch mm. a guy called christopher pop mm. uh, i like to involve them as early mm. as i possibly can because i mean if they are the eyes Hmm. of your vision that's right you know so the more time you spend with them i feel the more chances that there'll be a synergy between the way you're seeing it hmm. and they will end up hmm. uh, uh, shooting it hmm. um so i try my best to get somebody on as quickly as possible um and uh, we just talk about every scene you know and uh, for me the the uh, cameraman and the other person is the production designer that's right so these two people are exceedingly key they need to come on as quickly as possible then i mean like later we can get into discussing other crew members mm. but for me that is crucial that they on from the word go because i i really like to see the film before i go to shoot it mm. i i do like that i i'm like i mean as much fun as you can have with improv mm. <coughs> on certain films that allow you that that's right you know you can have a lot of fun but you still want it that improv to happen within a certain Boundary. frame yeah within yeah. a certain context and framework mm. that you've created that you want for a scene mm. um and i like to visualize that and have a, a really a very very clear vision of how i'd like to how i'd like to see every scene let's i mean just go back i i, I mean i i want to ask that question i forgot uh, when uh, you did lux with jawed sahab and and there are kind of the the song situation comes hmm. because he's a lyricist and a writer so it's interesting to explore that yeah. how is is the song situation exactly as it is in the script or or do you say that you know now this is how i see the character he's my i identify with him a bit he comes from my generation this is the right what, what, you know, i mean uh, i mean actually, uh, how do you think of songs yeah. in the film and how do you integrate them generally and specifically in lakshm with jawad right. sahab um you know it's it's not as easy as people would imagine yeah. to uh. think of song situations because no. more often than not i mean even for whatever it's worth even if your narrative is going forward yeah. you're repeating the same thing yeah you know so uh, i mean that's something you have to be a little bit cautious about but you do understand that culturally Mm. people uh, in this country enjoy song mm. they enjoy music they inherently feel it's a part of their mm. their yeah. the films they'd like to watch yeah. um and you respect that mm. you know you want to give them something that they're paying money to go in and yeah. see you want them to enjoy themselves um but you have to find the right balance yeah. you know you don't want to compromise on just pausing a story and just throwing mm. a song in mm. um like so on lux for example every song situation was in the script mm. uh the only one that i insisted on putting was the mai sa kyun hu song that's how that i was thinking a lot yeah that was the only one that i insisted i was like because i one thing is that this man lives in a bit of dreamland mm. the character mm. i said so i'd like to see it you know i'd like mm. to explore that mm. and let me also um i mean apart from the fact that it'll give people a wonderful opportunity to watch rithik dancing mm. which everybody enjoys all the yeah. time you know um i just felt that it would kind of let you into his mind a little bit yeah, more yeah. you know that what goes on it's all quirky and it's all twisted and he has no idea whether he's coming or he's going mm-hmm. there's mirrors where you see eight and nine of him which one is really him you don't know mm-hmm. you know so to just just to create kind of a confused metaphor mm-hmm. so to speak that's yeah. going on in his mind um i thought that that would be a, a good song to do but the rest were all a part of the script yeah i mean so songs are interesting i mean i mean the chinese cinema is chinese cinema <clears throat> to some extent because of a certain kind of martial arts yeah. whatever they do yeah. if you talk about i don't like the word bollywood but the hindi film or the indian film industry you know mm. we have songs and there yeah. is a and we've all grown up on a steady diet grown, of that we, that kind we, of ha huh. so do you think that with this era of westernization with younger directors getting more impressed by breaking bad right right uh, uh, you know they know more wong kar wai than b shantaram mm. so how i mean do you think you're missing out on something on a tradition that's coming that that's that that exemplified us that in uh, a sense it was us right. or, or do you think this changes 
will happen and you know yeah. i i feel i mean eventually every director writer will have to be true to themselves yeah you know i don't think you should pander yeah. and i don't think that you should try and force yourself to do anything that you're not comfortable with doing yeah yeah so if your influences and if your thrust of wanting to tell a story or your hang is to say it without songs by all means you should mm. you know i i think that there is an audience today for it yeah because again i mean you, uh, our films no longer are only confined of releasing within certain pockets they release globally mm -hmm. um so i think if your film is good it will it will reach an audience um i have grown up on films where i do enjoy the song element ah, ah, of it but ah. i i try my best to use it as sensibly as i possibly जो गाने करते हो तुम तो इंटरेस्टिंग है बिकॉज यू नो से दिल चाहता यू गो बैक यू नो दॉन्ग्स दैट प्रॉब्लबली यू नो रॉक ऑन एंड वॉट एवर बट रॉक ऑन इज स्टोरी ऑफ अ बैंड सो सॉन्ग आसान है बट दिल चाहता मतलब द सॉन्ग ऑल्सो टेंस टू एड समथिंग वेदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टाइल वेदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑफ यू नो हाउ डू यू वर्क ऑन दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इवन द से द सेफ Uh, song, sonali song sonali song yeah. you know that takes a certain style it's so mm -hmm. what are you thinking when you when you when you are thinking of that kind of song when you you know you, of course is maybe the exploration of the character but mm -hmm. also uh, you know it's a kind of a kind of a creates another kind of moment which is not explainable totally with a script matlab right. kahani mein add karta hai ha कैसे ऐड करता है वो आप देख के एक्सपीरियंस करके ही कर सकते हैं वैसे नहीं तो वो कैसे सोच रहे हो तुम उस उसको एक्चुअली वो गाना जो था सेफ मतलब सारे जो गाने थे दिल चाहता है में ज्यादातर जो थे एक तो मतलब एक जैसे दोस्तों के एक पार्टी का गाना था जो कोई गए पहले पहला गाना जो था उसके बाद एक्चुअली द बिगेस्ट डिसीजन इन दैट उस फिल्म में था कि मैं बिल्कुल नहीं चाहता था कि ये दोस्त दिल चाहता है गाना गाए कि एक दूसरे के बारे में दिल चाहता है कभी ना भीते चमकी लेते एक दूसरे को ऐसे थे जो हम फिल्मों में देखते थे तू मेरा यार है और मैंने तो कभी किसी को नहीं देखा एक दूसरे से ऐसे बात करते हुए तो मैंने कहा आपने देखा हो तो मुझे प्लीज बताइएगा लेकिन तो मुझे लगा कि दैट विल बी यू नो लाइक अगेन यूर जस्ट डूइंग समथिंग दैट इज डन इट्स वी फाइंड इट चीज ही वेन वी वॉच इट तो मतलब वो नहीं करना है तो लेट्स जस्ट क्रिएट अ मूड यू नो एक गाने के जरिए मूड क्रिएट करते हैं एंड लेट द फ्रेंड्स डू व्हाट दे वुड नॉर्मली डू तो दैट वाज बिकॉज़ इट्स द टाइटल सॉन्ग एंड द टाइटल सॉन्ग इज नॉट बीइंग सांग यू नो दैट वाज दैट वाज अ क्वाइट अ बिग डिसीजन एट दैट टाइम टू टेक और जहां तक सेफ और सोनाली का गाना है तो मैं जो जिस तरह का कैरेक्टर था सेफ उस फिल्म में वी कुड नॉट गिव हिम जस्ट अ नॉर्मल सॉन्ग यू नो ही वाज जस्ट वेरी वेरी क्वर्की और ही इज again i mean he's somebody who imagines scenarios when he sees someone and he falls in love he's imagining a life mm -hmm. with that person you know so which is why he's deeply in love kyunki uske mind mein matlab shaadi ho chuki hai bacche paida ho chuke hain wo kahi hill station pe reh raha hai chai pi raha hai rocking chair pe baitha hua to like he talks about that mere madhumakki ka ek farm hoga hum shahid ye karenge wo sab tha usme to he is that kind of character to me laga we might be able to give him take this liberty कि जब वो एक सिंपल से डेट पे गया है कि ही इज इमेजिनिंग कि अगर मैं इस फिल्म में होता विथ हर व्हाट इट वुड फील लाइक सो दैट्स वेयर इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स द कोरियोग्राफर कम्स इन यू नो एंड देन मेक्स द पीपल इन द थिएटर आल्सो सी हिज विजन फॉर व्हाट इट इज जस्ट फॉर फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट एंड फॉर फन बट दैट्स रियली हाउ इट हाउ इट कांड टू स्टार्टेड हां नो मैं तो सिर्फ बस इस एक कहानी तो कैसे भी सुनाए कोई और फिल्म जो जैसे बनाना चाहे वैसे बनाए एवरी डायरेक्टर हैज इज व्यू एंड नथिंग शुड बी फोर्स बट आई आई एम सेइंग देयर इज अ काइंड ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट व्हिच इज गोइंग अवे फॉर अ काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म वेयर डायरेक्टर्स यूज्ड दैट फॉर्म इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वे एंड एंड मे बी इन आवर इन आवर टाइम यू नो फॉर एग्जांपल यू नो आई मीन द वे पीपल लाइक बिमल रॉय और पीपल लाइक गुरुदत्त यूज सॉन्ग्स व्हेन व्हेन वी थिंक बैक ऑन सिनेमा राइट what do we think of there was of course a parallel cinema there was a in between lot of things happened but aaj bhi hum jab baat karte hain ki ye film kaun bada director hai who do we admire why do we think of gurudat why do we think of bimal roy why do we forget all the people in between you know right, right. because there is a idiom there which hmm. connects with us in some way they are doing something interesting but 
in a way which is connecting uh, with with, right. with, with us. See, one no, thing is, yeah. is, I mean, the music was fantastic yeah. in a lot of their movies, so that in itself only will yeah. sustain mm. and will live forever. Uh, I think apart from that, जो फिल्में वो बनाते थे, they were very relevant films. Yeah. They had something to say beyond just the romance and beyond. There was something, whether it was social, uh, whether it touched upon. Uh, uh, you know like issues of economic differences of caste of of uh, uh, copyright mm. you know on to a certain extent in pyasa if you see yeah, yeah. it's a question of authorship yeah. of who of identity mm-hmm. um so there were things that you could absolutely identify with mm. um when films went into the realm of absolute fantasy mm. then it's very difficult to to remember them yeah. you know because every film starts looking like the other mm. and it doesn't i mean apart from maybe a song or two that you like that you'll hum when you maybe remember but stories didn't stay with you mm. i feel with a lot of them the stories really really stayed mm. with you and i think that's why you think of them as great directors because mm. they like we go back to the first question mm. we go back to the writing question mm. you know um and we it's there was so much emphasis on the story on the screenplay on dialogue on the lyric mm. there was so much emphasis mm. that uh, it it just stay there's no way you can you can uh, get it out of your mind it's not possible No, it's uh, uh, yeah. I mean, so uh, there there is something much. Uh, if we uh, then, when you are making a film, or कहानी लिख रहे हो, film बना रहे हो, what interests you more, the plot or the characters or the moment that you create? I mean, of course, all all of the above. But <laughs> in what what is it? What is it <laughs> that you? शुरू में तो मतलब जो सबसे जरूरी चीज जो आपको excite करेगी वो वो plot होगा. हाँ. कि ये इस ये कहानी क्या है क्या और सबसे पहला सवाल यू इफ यू हैव इफ यू कैन आंसर ऑनेस्टली बिकॉज इट्स वेरी इजी टू गेट कैरिड अवे बाय ओन आइडिया इज डू इज इट वर्थ मेकिंग आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी वेरी बिग क्वेश्चन क्योंकि जब आप ये जेन्यूनली बैठ के सोचेंगे यू डोंट हैव टू अराइव एट द आंसर इन वन डे यू कुड टेक सम टाइम ऑफ कम एंड रीड इट अगेन आफ्टर टू वीक्स कम एंड रीड इट अगेन आफ्टर अ मंथ और जब आप पढ़ोगे कभी कभी आपको लगता है यार मैंने क्या लिख लिया है यू नो दैट हैपन्स बिकॉज एक तो मतलब आपका आपकी जो एक अटैचमेंट है उस कहानी से वो तो है ही लेकिन आप बहुत से लोगों को उसमें इन्वॉल्व करने वाले हैं यू गोन टू कन्विंस देम दैट इट्स अ ग्रेट स्टोरी यू नो यू गोन टू गेट समबडी टू पुट मनी इनटू इट सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी श्योर दैट दिस इज रियली द फिल्म दैट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक एंड वेन यू हैव दैट फीलिंग देन देर इज समथिंग दैट कैरीज यू इन अ वे दैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्लेन इट्स नॉट अ जॉब एनी Yeah, you know, it becomes something more special than that. It just, it just, uh, I don't know what. You said is. somewhere that when you are a writer, you have to convince yourself. Absolutely. When you are a director, you have to convince others. Others. Yeah. And when you are an actor, you are basically a conduit in that process. Absolutely. Something like that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So then, what attracts you to a film like Dawn? Uh, Dawn two, for instance, why why yeah. do you make that? I am I just love that character. Mm. I, for with that, it's the character. Huh. I do love the character. I feel ke, uh, that we can have uh, a person uh, represented in film who is genuinely not a very nice guy, huh. but people love him for that. Mm. You know, um, I I find that very fascinating. Mm. This this dark side, mm. so to speak. not just of the character but of the of the fact that people who go into watch it appreciate it for what it is it's mm. an amazing thing mm. you know um and uh, to me to so somehow to keep kind of pushing the envelope with that guy mm. you know is is something i find i do find exciting to do mm. you know i i feel that there is i mean although the film is not presented in a very gritty dark manner mm. you know we make it very large and we make it very this mm. thing but if you really break it down mm. they are very dark stories You know the 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 first dawn the remake dawn yeah yeah jo humne banayi thi usme jo ek bahut hi acha insaan hai jo matlab acche kaam karna chahta hai us he gets killed aur uski jagah matlab ek villain le leta hai and you're rooting for him and at the end when you when he escapes you're like my god what a smart guy sab log bhool gaye vijay ko jo mar gaya tha bechara hospital mein you know so it's very fascinating to see this psyche in people and this kind of uh, um how would you say like again a fascination uh with 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 darker personalities mm. you know and with with gray personalities uh no i mean this is almost a standard rule in any superhero film ke mm. a superhero film is really only as interesting as the villain that's right you know if no. the villain in a film is not interesting no matter who that superhero is that film is lacks mm. any kind of 
viewing pleasure. Pleasure, yeah. You know, so it's it's that that obsession. So I guess it's the same thing with this character, mm. that I just enjoy the fact that I can make him darker and darker and darker every single time, mm. and just see the effect that it has. Yeah, on there's a great scriptwriter called Ben Hecht, who came to Hollywood and uh, somebody explained to him the rules of Hollywood at that time. Ki, I was, in Hollywood film mein mai achhi ladkiyan ye nahi karti achhe ladke ye nahi karte wo kisi aur ke sath sochi nahi hai ye nahi hota wo nahi hota so bole yaar achhe ladke to kuch hi nahi kar sakte to he wrote scar face he said <laughs> so you know something like that you know i mean you know you know i mean there's yeah. there's, there's the rules so villains also allow you to in a sense absolutely. explore a lot of uh, absolutely absolutely uh-huh. and somehow people are less judgmental of them ha uh-huh. you know कि अगर कोई जो अच्छा कैरेक्टर आप दिखा रहे हैं जब वो बुरा काम करता है यार इतना कमीना इंसान है नॉट गुड एट ऑल बट इफ इज ऑलरेडी अविलन उससे निराश ही नहीं होता कितने भी कमीने काम करे बोले यार टू गुड यार स्मार्ट गाय अनबिलीवेबल ऐसा बहुत होता है तो देन नाउ व्हेन वी कम टू व्हाई यू नॉट मतलब यू enjoying your career as an actor too much or is it because uh, <laughs> which is fair i mean it is a great career and it's you know and uh, or you only want to make films when they really come to you in a sense that i mean it's a, it's a great choice yeah, actually you know course. that you you are now you are in a position hmm. to do because bahut bada directors hum log bhi film banate hain kyunki agli film banani hai to sab log bol rahe hain are yaar ye to gayab ho gaya to kuch na kuch karo taki जिंदा रहे ताकि लोगों के दिमाग में रहे ताकि वो जो फिल्म आगे दिमाग में आएगी वो बनाएंगे बट एक्चुअली एवरी डायरेक्टर और एवरी फिल्म मेकर इज रिमेंबर्ड बिटवीन एक्सेप्ट फॉर द रियली आउटस्टैंडिंग वंस फॉर थ्री फोर फाइव टेन फिल्म यू नो मैक्सिमम बहुत बड़ा है तो दस फिल्म है तो इट्स वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट यू आर मे बी इन अ पोजिशन टू मेक अ फिल्म ओनली वेन यू आर रियली रेडी टू मेक अ फिल्म आई मीन करेंटली लाइक यू सेड आई थिंक देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ the kind of work that i'm getting to do hmm. uh, as an actor is something that i'm enjoying tremendously yeah um and also it's giving me again just the opportunity to work with people with directors with uh, with other producers which i don't think i'd get hmm. if i was just directing Direct, for for yeah. my own company that won't happen uh so that is one thing but i'm also i i think it's really about the work that's coming my way hmm. um so uh, every film you know uh, that i've i've agreed to be part of as an actor has somehow i don't just somehow added a little bit more you know to my understanding hmm. uh, of of films and hmm. uh, and of creator uh, of uh, character creating hmm. um and I, it's it just feels now that while i mean things seem to be happening in a certain kind of flow hmm you know um as so just to say that okay why why stop it mm. you know there's uh-huh. there's no reason to no uh-huh. you know and i feel that maybe at some point there will be a reason to mm. maybe at some point there'll be a story i'll be like listen forget all this i just have to make this yeah you know maybe that will happen and there will be a time yeah you know i mean it is something that i i tremendously enjoy doing mm. directing a film i feel that the ownership that you have um on a film when you've directed it no matter who you are you just never have that as an actor mm. you just you just can't you know that that I mean that film is you'll get a lot of praise you'll get uh, great perks if the film does well and everybody praises you all that happens but somewhere inside it it really really uh. it's not the same feeling no. and i don't think any actor who's not directed will ever know that mm. you know i feel only somebody who's directed and acted will know what the difference is when a film that you're part of or that you made is successful what it feels like it feels very different when you're a director so i i i definitely will get back to it because there is a certain there are stories that i'd like to tell i feel at this point the stories that i'm being asked to uh, to tell uh, as an actor as are a... just exciting me exciting mm-hmm. me more yeah i mean that's that's uh, but when you are an actor in a film your director mind doesn't shut does i mean it, it's is functioning i mean that is because you that's how you began so if you come across a situation where you where you think uh, you know even based on his story hmm. kahani uski hai scene uska hai main actor hu lekin yaar usi ki kahani ko galat kar raha hai yaar ye hmm. behtar ye hai to tab kya hota hai 
होता है मतलब पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अक्रॉस हंड्रेड परसेंट मगर मैं डायरेक्टर में इसलिए नहीं करता क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि मैं भी डायरेक्ट कर चुका हूँ मुझे मैं इसलिए करता हूँ कि मुझे लगता है कि शायद कहानी इंप्रूव हो सकती है या सीन इंप्रूव हो सकता है उस वजह से और क्योंकि काबिलियत है तुम में ना तुम कर सकते हो वो तो एक आदत भी है एक फितरत भी है ना ये एक मतलब काफी अभी एक कॉमन सी बात है शायद एक वक्त था जब एक एक हैराकी थी जिसमें जो डायरेक्टर कहता है वो सबको मानना पड़ेगा हाँ। और ऐसे ही करना पड़ेगा लेकिन वो वक्त अब थोड़ा बहुत मुझे लगता है चेंज हो गया है और एक कोलैबोरेटिव एटमोसफेयर में सब काम करना पसंद करते हैं तो जब मैं डायरेक्ट भी करता हूँ तो जो एक्टर्स हैं या टेक्नीशियंस हैं वो स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ते हैं और आके मुझसे कहते हैं यार ये सीन में ऐसा है हो सकता है अगर आप ऐसा करो एंड यू नेवर नो वेर अ गुड आइडिया कैन कम फ्रॉम यू नो So as long it's, as it's not a veto, it, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, so you keep your ears open, you keep mm-hmm. your mind open. Mm-hmm. Um, and similarly, when I'm acting in a film, if I feel that there can be some improvement in a scene or something in the story, um, I I don't hesitate to share it. Mm-hmm. But it's not because I think I can make it better. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel that I think that you know this will serve the story yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, a lot yeah, more. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I feel that it's really become a part of the process now. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe the experience of having directed and having worked mm. uh, as a writer helps more yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's not the reason to do it yeah it's but it's i'm it, uh, yeah sure so i mean but where do you think javed saab also had a very famous statement was somebody had one day a waiter asked him kya leke aao wo bole beta ek second half leke aana to to sorry but to Do you th- where do you think films suffer here? I mean, when we most Indian films uh, we take a premise, do hmm. we are we fulfilling them? Where where is in in the writing process? Where are we going wrong? I mean, do you think that there is a need for a in in the overall process in cinema hmm. to lay more emphasis or what's happening here? I mean, because where what do we talk about? We talk about uh, writing as hmm. as a as a. I mean, Indian films. in an international level we have cameramen we have production right. designers we have great actors even the even the stars who don't consider themselves great actors are actually better than they say they are or they mm. think they are they're self deprecating where we are lacking is is the scripts so is it that we have no writers or is it that good writing is not acceptable accepted um, so the writer writes what is he's told to do it um i i i mean i, I feel uh it's not really about what the writer is told uh. because i feel all of us react to we want to survive mm. in a in an industry mm. we want to survive in whichever industry it is and you adapt yourself to try and make yourself successful mm. so i don't know if anybody necessarily needs to tell you what you should do mm-hmm. uh and there is unfortunately i think the unfortunate part and the big difference i think when we talk about like say a place like hollywood and mm. here um i think the commercial restrictions on a film here are way way more mm. um the the bearing of that because i feel that a we have a very minuscule audience that actually goes into watch a film mm. you know we may be 1.2 billion people mm. but there's m- just a few million people that go in which is like point some percentage of yeah. the population of your country yeah um we have one theater for every some i don't know like 90 900 and some thousand people mm. um so it's not easily accessible to people mm. so the ones that want to go they everybody who's investing in it are they're so worried that will they make their money back or not yeah that this this stress starts filtering down i think to to everyone to everyone you know and then it affects the way you write mm. um that's why you may want to put two more songs in yeah. you know that driver song has become one word which i want to stab the person who came up with it <laughs> कि गाने एल्बम में ड्राइवर गाना कौन सा वो आप गाड़ी में सुनेंगे सो देयर देयर आर ऑल दीज लाइक काइंड ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शंस यू नो और डिमांड्स व्हिच अनफॉर्चूनेटली यू हैव टू डील विद एंड स्टिल विद इन दैट आई फील दैट वी डू मैनेज वंस इन अ वाइल टू क्रिएट समथिंग यू नो दैट दैट इज दैट इज प्रेजवर्दी दैट इज सब्सटेंशियल दैट इज दैट रेजोनेट्स बियॉन्ड जस्ट एन एंटरटेनिंग व्यू वी स्टिल मैनेज टू डू इट um and again in terms of it's a very star driven society mm. you know uh, there are people who are very passionate about the people that they are fans of yeah they don't really really want to cater too much tickets are expensive an outing is expensive 
everything eventually comes down to that. You know, so it's how do you find a way of making something exciting, different, yet at the same time, you wa- how do you excite people to go in and see it? Yeah. And that becomes a commercial demand. Yeah. You know, and then that starts filtering down. So even when you're writing, when people um, write scripts, at times it happens when we hear a script from someone, mm-hmm. you know, and you feel that, yaar, wo end mein aisa kyun hua? there's no reason, mm-hmm. you know, it could have actually ended with, I mean, like the kind of guy that he is, mm-hmm. whether he goes to jail or it is like, nee, our audience wo accept nahi karegi. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. you already kind of self-censored yeah. yourself in terms of yeah, what it is because yeah. you, you're thinking from the point of view that if I went to watch this movie, uh-huh. would I be disappointed? Mm-hmm. You know, and you're not serving the story then. So these are things that happen and it takes, I mean, it's a huge struggle. Mm. And all of us have been through it where you try and find the right balance, yeah. you know, between wanting yeah, yeah. to do something yeah. substantial, do something new, do something that hopefully will be memorable, mm. you know, and yet at the same time, you're constantly battling this thing of like, how do you make it palatable for, for everyone or excitable for everyone? Because there's a very, very narrow margin of what's exciting people. Yeah. You know, to so go I, and, see I, it. Wait, wait. and then, sorry, if sorry, I may, no, if no. I may say, yeah. um, there's also no critical acclaim hmm. for films that are good films. Yeah. You know, because if you are watching the film, when we talk about uh, a place like Hollywood, if you are watching the film, if you are watching the film, if you are watching the best film mein nominated, hai, best uh, actors jo nominated. Hai, they are not successful movies. Yeah. Very few are successful Very films. few. In fact, they become successful because... Af- because of the Oscar. Ah, okay. You know, so ah. they're not, they just, it's great work. Yeah. And the great work gets honored. We only honor films that do well. Mm. If a film is not commercially successful, very, very rarely ah. does it get a best film award. Yeah. You okay. know, it'll get a, a critics award ah. for, for, for best film, you know, ah. which is like, ah. it's true, you know, uh, but if the commercial film which at times can work because there are films that have been commercially successful and have had something to say and, yeah. and have been meaningful. But more often than not, you're honoring films that are box office successes wow. as good films. Yeah. You know, um, and I think that's the big difference because there, you know that if I do a film, even if it didn't do well at the box office, my work will be appreciated mm. in certain quarters to keep me going with more work. Mm. Here, if you're not appreciated at the box office, your career is over. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a career left. So the pressure of that is, is huge on everyone. Everywhere. But you are also a production company, right? With Excel, with Ritesh, yeah. you are also. So when you, how many good scripts, I mean, do, do, do you have a lot of startlingly good scripts which you would not be able to make because of this or is there a lack? I mean, in the environment, a lot of people come to Excel right. if they wanted to do a slightly different film. Young people, uh, so I yeah. mean, you must be getting. You know, actually, ex- uh, yeah, Excel uh, to a certain extent is like the kind of go-to production. Go-to house. production house. Yeah. You know, for that, when people have this idea, that they think it's commercial, it's not for us. But it's again, it's few and far between. I mean, we have come across uh, some scripts that we've liked very much. Mm. Uh, some scripts that, uh, a lot of scripts, I would say, mm. you know, that that didn't work for us. That has happened. Um, and yeah, you just you just read and you play it by and you take it as it comes. This is the go-to production house. <laughs> so if you have a script, any uh, we'll, uh, we'll open up the house for questions. Uh, Ashok Hello. will tell you the Hello. method. Uh, Do you have anything more that you would want to say? I, well, mean, I think let them ask. Let the them ask. I think know, that might be. I'll interrupt in between if something happens. You know, yeah, we'll I think. This entire session between both of them was so interesting. I expect you to give a fantastic applause for, for such an interesting uh, session. Thank you, thank you. Faran, uh, there will be a question definitely as students. You are a brilliant musician, you are a brilliant singer, you're a brilliant writer, director, and producer. If tomorrow any one amongst here sitting have that those elements in him, mm. what do you advise them, and what do you think they should concentrate more so that they 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 achieve the success or stardom which you have achieved in your life? Um, yeah, I'll just say that success is not a formula for 
सभी लोग जो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में या किसी भी फील्ड में सक्सेसफुल हैं देव ऑल फाउंड देयर ओन वेज एंड देयर ओन रूट्स टू बी एबल टू डू इट सिर्फ एक चीज़ है जो अगर आपको खुद में बिलीफ है आप जानते हैं कि मतलब आपके अंदर कुछ है दैट इज यू वुड लव टू शेयर विद द वर्ल्ड द वन थिंग यू शुड नो इज दैट इट इज नॉट एन ईजी प्लेस टू मेक अ ब्रेक थ्रू इन यू नो इट इट कैन बी वेरी वेरी हार्ड सम पीपल लक आउट ऐसा हो जाता है कि कभी कभी लोगों को मतलब एक जल्दी से एक्सेस मिल जाता है लेकिन ज़्यादातर जो लोग हैं यू रियली रियली हैव टू वेट एंड इट्स अ टेस्ट ऑफ योर कैरेक्टर एंड इट्स अ टेस्ट ऑफ जस्ट योर पेशेंस ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट डू यू रियली बिलीव दैट दिस इज वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू नो एंड मोर ऑफ इन द नॉट पीपल हु हैव हंग इन देर हु आर रियली रियली डिटर्मिंड यू विल दे विल फाइंड अ वे एंड दे विल सम हाउ फाइंड अ वे टू शाइन um i i feel if you want to take for me as an actor i think a great example of it in recent times is a person like nawazuddin you know is a great example you know who's wanted to be an actor all his life and when you hear him speak when he talks about his early years when he came nobody gave him a chance mm-hmm. he really really hung in there you know and today you see where he is you know and it's purely on the basis of his talent and you he gets that one opportunity to show what he's capable of doing and he shines in it so that patience is something that you'll have to kind of inculcate into your system because if it happens quickly fantastic good for you but uh, you should also be willing to wait for faran aapke baaki jo performances rahi hain bahut kamal ki performances rahi hain lekin you created history in performing milkha singh aur i think milkha singh thank you you really relive milkha singh and you created milkha singh milkha singh became a, he came alive in this generation and today's generation main chahta hu ki milkha singh ke role ko kis tarah se aapne apnaya kaise perform kiya uske bare mein agar aap kuch bataoge to bahut i think it will be a great uh, you know this thing to experience for them i think the best thing about the performance he'll explain but when i saw milkha what was amazing is ki जो अंदर से मिल्खा सिंह का पैशन है वो आपको दिखता है वो मिमिक्री उसकी नहीं है सो एन एक्टर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ मिमिक्री आर्टिस्ट राइट तो वो जो अंदरूनी मिल्खा है जो उसके ज, उसका जज्बा है वो मुझे दिखा उसमें कोशिश ये नहीं हुई कि वो कैसे उसका एक्सेंट है या जो उसका उसको कॉपी करने का नहीं वो दैट वॉज द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट थैंक यू आई थिंक एक्चुअली वो उनकी जो मतलब जीवनी है दैट इन इट सेल्फ इज सो इंस्पायरिंग मतलब वो कहाँ से मतलब उनकी शुरुआत हुई जो बचपन में आपने फिल्म में देख लिया है जो पूरी उनकी कहानी थी तो मैं मतलब उनका नाम जानता था मैं जानता था कि वो बहुत ही एक मशहूर एथलीट थे अपने अपने ज़माने के लेकिन उसके अलावा जो उनकी कहानी थी मुझे बिल्कुल पता नहीं थी जब तक राकेश मेरा मुझसे मिले उन्होंने मुझे सुनाया कि उनके बचपन में क्या हुआ था पार्टीशन हुआ था अकेले वो आए थे किस तरह वो रहे सड़कों पे वो फिर चोर बने ये सब हुआ तो एक तो मुझे मतलब ताजुब हुआ कि मतलब एक लेजेंड से एक आदमी है जिनका नाम हम हमेशा लेते हैं इन द स्पोर्टिंग फ्रटर्निटी लेकिन इतने कम लोग इंक्लूडिंग माई सेल्फ यू नो जानते हैं कि उनकी ज़िंदगी में मतलब क्या क्या बीती है एंड हाउ इंस्पायरिंग हिस्स स्टोरी इज सो फर्स्टली आई गॉट वेरी वेरी इंस्पायर्ड जस्ट बाई हियरिंग हिस्स स्टोरी देन आफ्टर दैट मेरी मुलाकात उनसे हुई आई मेट हिज फैमिली एंड ऑल ऑफ दैम they just accepted me in a way that like they've known me all my life you know to uh, it just felt like you know agar mujhe kaam karna hai to aise karna hai ki jab main film ke baad unse milu they should meet me with the same warmth and the same love <laughs> that they're meeting with me with now seriously ki main nahi chahunga ki tab do parathe kam diye mujhe aisa aisa na to that was the second thing that happened and then the third thing actually that happened which was uh, uh, was very very interesting तो हम लोग चंडीगढ़ गए थे जब फिल्म की अनाउंसमेंट हो रही थी ऑफिशियली तो मिल्खा जी थे राकेश था प्रसून थे आ, मैं था और एक दे वॉज अ लिटिल इवेंट वहाँ पर उन्होंने क्रिएट किया था जहाँ मिल्खा जी ने अपने जो रोम में उन्होंने जो स्पाइक्स पहने थे ही गिफ्टेड मी दो स्पाइक्स एज अ गुड विल लाइक अ गुड लक जेस्टर फॉर द फिल्म तो और फिर एक छोटा सा एक प्रेस इंटरेक्शन हुआ उसके बाद तो मतलब तब तक मैं मतलब ट्रेनिंग कर चुका आई वाज इनटू माय ट्रेनिंग ऑल दैट वाज गोइंग ऑन एंड आई वाज ट्राइंग इन माय हेड टू अराइव एट दिस प्लेस ऑफ वे ही इज 
और वहाँ पर एक लेडी थी जो चंडीगढ़ की एक प्रेस जर्नलिस्ट थी तो उन्होंने एक सवाल राकेश से पूछा कि राकेश जी ये बताइए कि यू नो यू शुड हैव टेकन अ पंजाबी एक्टर फॉर दिस फिल्म आपने फरहान को क्यों लिया है कि आई डोंट नो इफ ही बी एबल टू डू दिस ही नॉट डजेंट स्पीक पंजाबी वो कभी गाँव में तो गए नहीं है ये सब दिस दैट इन दी अदर तो दैट रियली रियली स्टेड विथ मी और मुझे लगा यार मैं हंड्रेड परसेंट एक बात तो जाहिर है कि जब ये फिल्म रिलीज होगी मैं चंडीगढ़ वापस आऊँगा क्योंकि मिल्खा जी यहाँ रहते हैं तो ये तो होने वाला है आई वॉन्ट टू कम बैक एंड वॉन्ट टू आस्क हर वट शी थिंक्स ऑफ द फिल्म आफ्टर दिस फिल्म इज मेड शी गिव मी सो मच आई कॉन्ट आई मैं इनिशियली वॉन्ट एंग्री दैट शी आज दिस क्वेश्चन मगर मैंने कहा कि गुस्सा होने से कुछ फायदा नहीं कि आई शुड चैनलाइज इज नेगेटिविटी एंड मेक इट अ थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू कम बैक एंड शो हर एंड दैट इज द थिंग दैट मिल्खा जी हैड एवरी टाइम ही वॉज सेट दी आपसे नहीं हो पाएगा ही इज मैं तो आपको दिखा के ही रहूंगा कि मैं कर सकता हूँ That's why he used to practice more. That's why he used to train harder than anyone. And that's who he was. He was just somebody who refused to let somebody tell him that you cannot achieve something. And that lady did it for me in that press conference. Or फिर मैं गया वापस फिल्म रिलीज होने के बाद और वहाँ पर फिर से एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस हुई एंड शी वॉज देयर और वो तो भूल ही गई थी कि उन्होंने ये सवाल मुझसे पूछा था तो शी केम एंड सेड यू नो वंडरफुल वंडरफुल बहुत अच्छा था परफॉर्मेंस आपका एंड आई टोल्ड आई सेट आई मस्ट थैंक यू that you are actually the person who's given me this feeling that i should do it like this <laughs> so really but then and jab phir of course jab training ho rahi thi ye sari cheeze ho rahi thi to tab ek jazba ho gaya tha aur uh, rakesh ne mujhse kaha tha ki hum log athletes aa rahe hain kyunki actors jo hai matlab wo itna hi kar sakte hain but to, how can you pretend to be an athlete if you're not mm. you need to run fast the body language has to be of an athlete तो आपके साथ भागने के लिए हम लोग कनाडा से जापान से साउथ अफ्रीका से यहाँ वहाँ से एथलीट्स आने वाले हैं तो इट लुक्स लाइक इट्स अ प्रॉपर रेस बिकॉज वी कैन वी कॉन्ट टीच रनर हाउ टू एक्ट बट वी कैन दिल रन लाइक यू इट दिल लुक प्रोफेशनल तो तभी मैंने लाइक ऑल दिस वॉज गोइंग ऑन सब तक यार मैं जब जाऊँगा वहाँ पर रेस शूट करने के लिए तो मैं बिल्कुल नहीं चाहता कि उन्हें कुछ ब्रेक लेना पड़े मेरी वजह से आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट टू है I don't want them to feel yaar kaha phas gaye bhai actor ke sath bhaga rahe hai matlab he can't run so i said main to chahunga main when i go over there i want to run in a way that they have to keep up with me that i was completely convinced that they have to keep up aur aap dekhte hain matlab jab aap kisi boxer ko ring mein jate hue dekhenge agar aap jo olympics mein jab aap dekhte hain when the athletes come out to run on the track there is a certain energy there is a certain body language there is a certain confidence that this is my territory and don't mess with me that feeling you cannot pretend to have you have to actually believe it you have to feel it and uh, it really really was a certain madness if you want to call it that that uh, i i just had to perform it that way and had to had to do it that way that's that's really what it was we all applaud you for uh, the brilliant an example uh, you created for an actor uh, recently we saw amir in dangal Yeah, so bilkul. I think these are the examples which 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 will be alive, you know, for so many generations. And we all Thank are you. thankful to you, uh, Farhan, for you know for for creating creating this example of uh, intensity, honesty, and your conviction. Thank you for that brilliant role. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, hi, I'm Monica. Thanks, thanks for taking hi. time out, Farhan and Mr. Ji. I wanted to ask Farhan Akhtar uh, when someone has a script and everything is in place and you know we believe in it we waited in it but uh, if you approach a financer from their perspective how much information you know should you first put out to them ki what is viable you know for them to be interested and believe and put money on what do you think is like a perfect pitch um no i i mean i think now every place has a um, a story or a script department you know where uh, people hear the script and they they react to it in their own way different companies i guess diff have different agendas in terms of what kind of movies they would like to do so sometimes your script may not fall into uh, what it is that they have as a vision for their company but um, i i think usually it's it's just a pitch of the story and a pitch of the synopsis and and fingers crossed you know hope that <laughs> hope that they like it that's that's really the only way bertolucci said yeah. that who is a film good who is a film director he who can get money to make his film after that we'll figure out whether he's a good one or a bad one <laughs> <laughs> so that ability of pitch yeah. of convincing people is a so one of the most brilliant pieces of writing from dil chahta hai is uh, the scene where 
uh, Akash mistakenly calls uh, Sid's house right. and then he breaks up uh, crying and you don't need to uh, cut to a black and white, you know, flashback. You know he's going to the moment where uh, Sid has told him that, you know, you'll understand when this happens to you. So, uh, you know, how, much, how, how have you come up with that bit and can you uh, shed some light on your writing process? And, uh, yeah. Um, you know, actually that on some level, I mean, I won't mean, I take names and stuff, but um, it was kind of loosely based on um, my relationship with a friend of mine and we fell through because we had some certain issues. And every time that I had any other issue in my life or I fell down, I would so miss calling up this guy. Uh, and at times I would feel so bad, I would actually like find myself crying that like, you know, I'm not finding whether it's the courage to do it because he might turn around and be like, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. You know, or then the ego at certain times, like why should I call? Mm. You know, kind of thing. And I never did it for a long time till finally we did meet and make up and we are friends now. But uh, it really was based on that. And at times, in your weakest moments, you know, you turn to people who know you best, you know, and, and who have been, who understand you, you know, who you can speak to very, very openly, um, and who you have a certain kind of history with, you know, so that you don't feel conscious about talking to them about anything. So it really came, came from there, and um, that's, really, that's really what it was. My question to uh, Faranji is that, uh, as an actor, uh, you rehearse every day, you rehearse day, you rehearse night, and you're cre uh, you have this creative juices flowing inside you every single day. But there is one day when, you know, you have to give a shot in, in an hour and it stops. And you don't feel that motivation to go. It happens with me. If that happened with you, or if it, it has happened with you in the past, what have you done for that? Um, I mean, firstly, I think the processes that we follow are different. You know, uh, I, I don't rehearse that much at all. Um, I much prefer, I mean, I'll do readings, you know, I, I do readings, I'll read the script because it's important for actors to know their lines. You know, if you're not absolutely, absolutely, you can say, if you're not absolutely familiar with your lines, it's not possible to even maybe do an improv if you want, because you'll be struggling so much and it'll show in your face that you're trying to remember what it is you're supposed to say. Um, so I read my lines a lot, but I never perform them. You know, I, I save that for it to be as magical as it can possibly be, you know, uh, when you're doing it for the first time. And I much rather do it for the first time when I'm doing it in front of the camera, because the first time is always special. You know, and you may be wrong, and of course the director could come and maybe speak to you and you can try it again. But I try my best to not rehearse, because I don't want to fall into any pattern of having to, whether it's a pause, or here I will pick something up, you know, or I just don't want to think about that, because you don't think about that in life. Right now, the way you and me are standing and talking, we've not rehearsed this conversation, you know. But uh, I mean, if you had to put this on film, if this was being on film, it would be an absolutely realistic conversation without having rehearsed. Hello, sir. Uh, myself, Jyoti Tripathi. Uh, sir, as I have learned from childhood, you just focus on one thing. And that thing will be found because one thing is one thing, one thing is one thing, one thing is one thing. But you are a very good person. So how do you manage this, like you're doing acting, you're also a director, you're also a writer, you're also a musician, so does anyone ever become a problem for you, for the other one? So what do you need to do with the most? Actually, it's not the most important thing, it's not the most important thing, it's the most important thing that I can give my team, which is my time, which is my time, which is my time, which is my time, they know that the things that are music, writing, I have to tell my family that it's time to be with my family. All these things are equally important for me. So they schedule my day and schedule my weeks and my months in a way that I can get a chance to do everything. It's like that sometimes I can't go to a film and I can't go to a concert. And you take that in your stride because at that time the film is the most important thing. So you will want that your whole focus and attention will stay on that. But I believe that our inside is so much more than our inside I don't believe that one person should only do one thing. I don't believe that one person should only do one thing. Because there is so much that each person can offer and it doesn't necessarily have to be only in one field or in one area or in one avenue of expression. 
और दैट्स रियली आई बिलीव एंड यू शुड नॉट बी स्केड और ज़्यादातर जो होता है जब जब कोई भी इंसान थोड़ा बहुत सक्सेसफुल किसी भी फील्ड में हो जाता है वो उस फील्ड से निकलना नहीं चाहता या नहीं चाहती क्योंकि उसको लगता है फिर मैं अगर वापस चली गई दो तीन साल बाद विल आई स्टिल बी एक्सेप्टेड तो मैं यहीं लगी रहती हूँ यू नो आई शुड नॉट अगर देख देख वो दे से डोंट रॉक द बोट फॉर नो रीज़न आई डोंट गेट अफ्रेड ऑफ दैट मुझे नहीं लगता कि अगर मैं कहीं चला गया और मैं दो तीन साल बाद वापस आया अगर लोग मुझे भूल गए तो ठीक है मेरा काम देखेंगे शायद फिर याद आ याद दिला देंगे कि मैं मैं था कुछ कुछ साल पहले एक काम अभी दर्ज अ नदर थिंग दैट यूर लाइफ वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दिस बट यू ऑल्सो हैव मर्द या सो वॉट वे हाउ वॉट मोटिवेट्स यू टू ऑल्सो गिव योर टाइम देयर पे टेंशन देयर टू ब्रिंग दोज इशूज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज इट सीम्स इम्पॉर्टेंट आई फॉलो यू इन ट्विटर कॉन्स्टेंटली एंड हाउ डज द ये जो एक हमारी इंडस्ट्री भी तो थोड़ा बहुत इस मैसेजिज्म में कंट्रीब्यूट करती है या इस इस माइंडसेट पे हाउ डू यू हैव अ ग्रैंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ इट हां व्हिच यू हैव स्पोकन अबाउट अ बिट यस आई हैव यू हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इट तो कैसे आप दिस टॉक अबाउट दैट अ बिट बिकॉज़ यंग पीपल आर हियर और एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है फरहान साहब चलाते हैं उसको जो सोशल इश्यूज को खड़ा करते हैं एंड काफी मदद और हेल्प होती है सोशल इस पे तो उसके बारे में फरहान साहब कुछ कहेंगे तो मर्ज जो इनिशिएटिव है वो एक्रोनिम है स्टैंड्स फॉर मेन अगेंस्ट रेप एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ये मैंने 2013 में शुरू किया था और एक मतलब एक रिएक्शन था उस वक्त जब शुरू हुआ टू अ लॉट ऑफ crime that was happening a lot of gruesome crime that was being committed uh, against women delhi mein jo hua tha phir bangalore mein bachiyon ke sath kuch hua tha bahut bahut assam mein ek molestation hua tha bahut sari cheeze matlab back to back hui thi us waqt aur main matlab un logon mein se ek tha jo matlab bahut affect hota tha in cheezon se aur phir aap apne living room mein baithe matlab gaaliyan de rahe hain sabko kya hoga kaun kuch karega when will this stop when will this change but nobody really went out and didn't go out and do anything tangible you know with it तो उस वक्त मुझे लगा कि अब अब अगर मैं कुछ इसके बारे में पॉजिटिवली कंस्ट्रक्टिवली कुछ करना शुरू ना करूं तो इट इज़ रियली गोइंग टू स्टार्ट मेसिंग विद माय माइंड एंड आई वुड बी एबल टू थिंक क्लियरली तो दैट्स रियली व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड दिस इनिशिएटिव और मैं चाहता था कि इसमें मतलब सिर्फ एक बेसिक बिहेवियर इनिशिएटिव है जिसमें हमारा फोकस जो है वो लड़कों पर है ऑन यंग मैन कि हम चाहते हैं कि जिस तरह के वैल्यूज़ आप अपनाते हैं कल्चरली uh, कि अगर मुझे अपने आप को एक मर्द बुलाना है तो क्या वो चीज़ें हैं जो मुझ में होनी चाहिए टू क्वालिफाई मी एज अ मैन तो ज़्यादातर जब हम फिल्में अगर जब देखते हैं या एडवर्टाइजिंग देखते हैं या uh, दे, तो हम एक माचो होना एक बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है कि यू नॉट अ मैन इफ यू माचो एंड मैन डोंट क्राई और मतलब मैं देख लूँगा यू नो लाइक एवरी थिंग इज़ वेरी अग्रेसिव जो एक पैसिव साइड है जो uh, जो विच ऑल्सो मेक्स अ मैन यू नो विच इज कॉल्ड लाइक द यंग टू योर इन यू नो दैट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ यू इज समे गॉटन लॉस्ट एंड वे ऑफ मैन आर वेरी वेरी हैवीली फोकस्ड ऑन द गो गेट अ वेरी अग्रेसिव वेरी द माचो साइड मैस्क्यूल इन साइड ऑफ दियर पर्सनैलिटी एंड आई फेल दैट कहीं मुझे लगा कि इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू बैलेंस दैट आउट एंड एंड स्पीक टू यंग बॉयज दैट इट इज ओके टू बी सेंसिटिव it is okay to to care uh, about other things you don't have to build this wall you know because you feel that i don't qualify as a man unless i have these yeah. these uh, these uh, things within me so it started with that aur uske baad matlab dheere dheere jab hum karte gaye to it's really just a behavior initiative abhi humne do short film bas pichle hafte fathers day par ek release hui thi which was about vidya balan and a father mr pr balan agar aapne dekhi nahi ho to please go to uh, youtube and you can watch it on our uh, mard official page uh, or it's i've also tweeted it and it's on my facebook page as well aur aaj hi humne ek aur short film release ki hai which is about sanya mirza and her father um, and the fact that just the, the thrust of it is really that humne bahut suna hai life mein ki behind every successful man there is a woman you know so this is just turning that on its head and saying that behind every successful woman there can also be a man so that's really <laughs> फरहान ये रिसेंटली यू रिकॉर्डेड अ सॉन्ग विथ सलीम सुलेमान जी मर्द छूले आसमान जी और वो इतना पॉपुलर हुआ एंड एंड राज सो 
it will be great if you sing two lines of that song for the audience today. Okay. That's a good point. मतलब ये हिस्सा तो हमारे सामने आना चाहिए ना पब्लिक के सामने आना चाहिए कि नहीं आना चाहिए ओके तो वेरी वेल रिटन सॉन्ग वेरी वेल कंपोज वेरी वेल या इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग वेरी वेल शॉट या तो अब खड़े होकर भी गा सकते लीन फॉरवर्ड करके कर लूँगा कहते हैं पढ़ लिख कर आखिर क्या करोगी तुमको तो किसी का घर बसाना है कहते हैं तुम हो अमान दूसरे की उनसे कहो अपनी भी जिद है तोड़े हम सारे ये पिंजरे छू ले आसमा ये जहां हम जीत ले बदले दासता हर धड़कन बोले छू ले आसमा ये जहां हम जीत ले बदले दासता हर धड़कन बोले नवजोत माई क्वेश्चन इज टू डू विद लक बाई चांस I feel it's one of the best films that Excel has made, oh, and a film that inspires a lot of us because, for me especially, it worked as a guide map into the world of cinema <laughs> and how you should tackle and how you should actually go about it. So, I would like to first thank you for it. Right. My question is that how do you react to the fact that this film, although it is brilliant and so many of us love it, but it never got its due? So, how do you look back at Luck by Chance? Yeah, ab abhi I think you answered the question yourself. Abhi abhi Luck's ke baare mein jo baat kar rahe the ki ab kaise quantify karoge success ko jab ab yahan par khade reh ke ye kehte ho aur itne sare log us par taaliyan bajate hain that's successful. That's the success of the film. Yeah. But, but it's an important thing. way because it is a very good film produced by Excel. and and it never did get its due at that time at its time uh, and and that's true and and, and uh, you know i mean uh, and it's a failure of the audience yeah. and the the other thing that's very interesting about that film is you know like uh, again because you read read about this a lot ke matlab jo film industry mein log hain unke liye to bahut aasan hai film banana ye karna wo karna ye sari cheeze aap padhte hain sunte hain to zoya jo hai matlab we were a production house by that time we had established excel entertainment we were willing to make zoya film it took zoya 7 years to make that movie 7 years for her to cast it 7 years and finally matlab after going to everybody everybody saying no she had to go with the last option <laughs> which was <me>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not easy it really really is not matlab it looks very cushy and rosy from the outside and it feels like हो सकता है कि कहीं ना कहीं मतलब ऑफ कोर्स पीपल विल गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी बट इफ यू आर नॉट गुड द ऑडियंस डज नॉट केयर यू कुड बी हुए यू आर यू हैव टू बी गुड एंड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट वन फिल्म एंड आई थिंक जोया ऑफकोर्स विद लक बाई चांस विच एवरीबडी लव सो मच एंड देन ऑफकोर्स विद जिंदगी ना मिलेगी दोबारा एंड दिल धड़कने दो आई थिंक इज रियली रियली प्रूव हर हर मेरिट एज अ राइटर एंड डायरेक्टर हाई सर दिस थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम Uh, I want to ask, like, as a filmmaker, to become a better filmmaker, what do you suggest? Like, going to a film school and having a formal training, or uh, like being on set and living a practical life as an AD. What would help uh, becoming in becoming a better filmmaker? Uh, you know, again, I mean, I think ये इसके बारे में हम थोड़ा बहुत बात कर चुके हैं कि there is no there is no route that I can tell you is better than the other. You know, you have directors. You have a director like Quentin Tarantino who worked in a video library. You know, today he's one of the most successful directors. He never went to film school. Uh, you have directors like Martin Scorsese who were in film school, Steven Spielberg who were in film school. Um, so this happens, but it's really about how passionate you are, how much you want to learn, wherever it is that you're learning, you know. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, if you're in film school, then you have to meet with other students, other students, other filmmakers, other people. Like you've already met, maybe two will be in terms of longevity and be successful. Because you're going to be in the industry for a long time. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are what they are. So it's not that they are when you're working on set with other assistant directors what is it about that one assistant director that goes on to do better work than the others it's just a passion thing it's just about how much you are willing to they say na jhok do apne aap ko in what you like doing i think that's the difference you know so i don't i mean any form of education i believe will help because it will give you a strong foundation for sure um i i do when we spoke about the writing school mm. i feel like i wish i had a little bit more of a foundation everything i've learned i've learned on the job you know i but i do miss that i feel that that would add some value 
and some more knowledge and hopefully some more expertise and skill in the way I function. So that can never be discounted, but is it better than doing something else? I, it's, it's difficult to say. Hello, Sudhir sir. Hello, Farhan sir. Hello. Uh, my name is Naisha. And uh, I wanted to ask you, Farhan sir, that uh, you just told us that when you found out that calling uh, towards movies, that is when you, uh, that is what made you write Dil Chahata Hai. So when or how was it that uh, you realized that you have this passion for movies and that is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Um, you know, I realized it a little bit late, but I think everybody around me realized it very, very early. That this is... <laughs> 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 it, was, it was only that. Um, I was very influenced by movies when I was a kid. I was a film, I was a film character. At that time, I didn't know what the director does. I didn't know what the cameraman does. Background music hoga. I think that the actor is doing everything. With the exception of the writers, because in the camera, my dad and Salim Angal are doing something. So, uske alawa, I had no idea what else. So, I was very influenced by movies. Um, and I think everybody around me knew that you know this seems to be what he enjoys doing the most and entertaining people. Um, so, that was very, very clear, I think, to people around me. Mujhe, main thoda baut tha usse, to be honest. Because I think being from a film family, it was almost assumed that you would go into film and I would feel very, very shy to tell people that that's what I would like to do. Because they say, yes, in film, he will do it. You know, that kind of feeling. So I would say, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a pilot. And inside, I was always fantasizing, I want to do something in film. That was there. Um, and then, uh, when I was in a production house, in a TV production house, which was advertising, a lot of advertising, I was working there. और जो मेरे बॉस तब थे अड़ी पोचा उन्होंने मुझे उन्होंने मुझ में कुछ मतलब I think he recognized that there is some potential and there is some skill and in the way I used to write for them and he got me very very he made me very aware of the discipline of writing कि एक चीज होती है कि मतलब आप बैठ के लिख सकते हो कि आप लिख सकते हो लेकिन दूसरी चीज होती है every day to sit down and actually write it can be very, very boring. You know, um, he drilled it into my head. He said that you come at 10 o'clock to the office, ke I'm not going to ask you to do any other work till 12. You have two hours, you sit at this computer and you write whatever you want. But I, you have to come in every day and do it. And that's really where I started writing the script of Dil Chata when I was sitting in that office. Um, and he drilled the, the importance and the discipline, I think, more of writing. And I think then that discipline follows in every other thing that you do, you know, you have to be really, really committed. So, if you are acting, if you are directing, whatever you are doing, that commitment that you have to give time to it so that it can be the best that it can be, I think that I got from him. Yeah, next. Hi, Farhan, sir. Uh, first of all, massive, massive thank you for Laksh. I mean, I get goosebumps when I say Laksh. Uh, it, is, it was one of the most... Uh, I think one of the most important things that happened to our cinema. Thank you. Um, I never thought I'd talk to you who created Laksh. Um, my question is that when you say the risk-driven uh, risk cinema, uh, which is uh, so difficult to make here, which is uh, the cinema is so box, box office driven and all that. But for someone like you, who is already a star, a very well-known face or any other star, is it not easy for you you know, you can, is it not like you can sell anything? I mean, you can do that kind of cinema and sell because you, you have a mar market already. I mean, it is uh, quite difficult for a newcomer, but for you, for any other new, uh, known face, is it not they, that much? It's a very, it's, a, it's an interesting question. The, the, I think the, the issue there is that, you know, films are not made by you in a vacuum. You know, you're not the only person. There are many other people who you have to get on board to collaborate with you. Uh, to do it and for all of them to then see it the way that you're seeing it you know and to be able to risk their career risk their reputation um, it's not it's not easy to do it has happened i mean it's not that we have not made good films Aisa nahi hai, or we've not made meaningful films uh, that has happened but it's not easy it is it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of um, commitment to your um, uh, vision of what it is that you'd like to do um, so because of who you are, 
that it should be easier is not necessarily not necessarily the case because it's not just you you know if you are going to finance the film if you are then by all means you know you can make anything that you want but i am responsible to somebody who's giving me the money to put it you know as much as i want to make this kind of film i cannot do it as the thing that knowing somewhere that he's not going to recover it i have a responsibility towards him there are people who don't care about that responsibility i do care about that responsibility because i feel everyone that i work with should have um i mean at times films don't work and that does happen to everyone you know but they should have an an a good experience they should have an experience of at least that you were sincere about what it is that you were trying to do and that you had their best interest at heart you know as opposed to you were only thinking about yourself and you don't care about what happens to them so to me that 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 is important so it makes it a little bit difficult but well, i have one questions for you that uh, you uh, got lot of talent like uh, singing is good acting is good direction is good writing is good and you are assistant director also my name is brush i am assistant director doing ad films right now so my question is uh, you so that, uh, if you have got a good theme like good topic whatever is that अच्छी स्टोरी आपको मिलता है और आपको सारा का पता है डायरेक्शन पता है एक्टिंग पता है सब चीजें पता है एक वो टॉपिक के साथ आप जस्टिस करना चाहते हो एज एन एक्टर एज एन डिरेक्टर और सिंगर कहा जाता है कि कोई एक्टिंग करता है कोई डायरेक्शन करता है नहीं हाफ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अगर मुझे दुनिया कुछ कहना है और मुझे पता है कि मैं डिरेक्शन के जरिए ज्यादा बोल सकता हूँ या एक्टिंग के जरिए ज्यादा बोल सकता हूँ तो तो हर इंसान में एक एक आवाज होती है जो उनसे कहती है कि ये सही है और ये गलत है तो जब आप किसी भी चीज को मतलब अगर आप पढ़ेंगे तो आपको एक किताब शायद अच्छी लगे एक अच्छी नहीं लगे जब आप फिल्म देखते हैं आपको एक फिल्म अच्छी लगती है एक फिल्म अच्छी नहीं लगे तो एक एस्थेटिक आपका खुद है आपके जो एक जो एक वैल्यू सिस्टम आपका खुद है एंड एवरीथिंग इज गेज अगेंस्ट दैट तो देर इज एन इंस्टिंग विद इन यू दैट टेल्स यू वेदर यू शुड डू इट और नॉट डू इट लेकिन आई थिंक टू जस्ट टेक इट अ लिटल बिट फर्दर द द बिग डिसीजन दैट हैपन वेन लाइक like रिसेंटली मैं आपको एक एग्जाम्पल दूंगा जो फिल्म हमने बनाई थी रईस जब राहुल ढोलकिया जी मुझसे मिलने आए थे तो डिम्पल जो है शी इज आई वर्क विद ऑफ कॉर्स ऑन दिल जाता है वेरी गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ मॉम्स सो शी कॉल मी अप एंड शी सेट कि राहुल ने एक फिल्म बनाई है लिखी है डो नॉट कॉल रईस इट वॉज कॉल्ड समथिंग एल्स एट दैट टाइम और मैंने उनसे कहा है कि टू कम एंड मीट यू बिकॉज यू विल बी परफेक्ट टू प्ले दिस पार्ट सो आई सेट वंडरफुल प्लीज सेंड हिम तो ही केम टू मीट मी and he narrated the script to me and i loved the script but i was like i'm not this guy you know i said this is not this is not me mm. so he said are so then so i said we should go and meet sharuk with this because he'll be perfect to play this the kind of character that it is the kind of whatever whether you want to call it the the performance that's needed for it the kind of i don't know certain maturity that's needed for it um so it's when do you say how do you disconnect yourself at times from things that seem very exciting mm. to do but to say no to something that could actually serve the film better is also a very like uh, the person that i learned this from in all honesty is i think i learned this from amir you know uh, is that he has the ability to say no and that you should speak to this guy because i think he'll be better for it mm-hmm. and it's not because he doesn't like your script he genuinely feels that he's not the guy to do it and that um, serves the story and that serves the way that the the film will be made and i think that is equally that the instinct that i'm talking about is is what it is sir mera question hai ki main aap se bahut inspire hu main singer bhi hu actor bhi hu sir start kya karu dono ko sath leke chalu ya kisi ek pe focus karke main jab aap screen test ke liye bulaye jaye to aapko ek sheet diya jayega jis pe dialogue hoga wo ga ke suna diye jayega Please next year next year yeah. he wants to sing two lines let 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 tere bin tere bin tere bin tere bin tere bina marna nahi jeena nahi tere bin tere bin tere bin 
तेरे बिन तेरे बिन तेरे बिना मरना नहीं जीना नहीं तेरे बिन क्या बात है थैंक यू बहुत अच्छे थैंक यू नेक्स्ट या हाय फरहान सर हाय सुधी सर माई सेल्फ राशा किरमानी बींग एन एक्टर इन मेकिंग I want to ask that uh, I've been learning this since childhood that every actor when achieves the height of fame and stardom uh, they go through a lot of phases where uh, overconfidence puts them over the head so I just want to ask that uh, has there been a situation in your life where your acting skills where your uh, achievements and you know your consistency uh, consistency in uh, uh, you know fame and everything has let you down because of over confidence and have you lost something because of that uh you know i i feel in these matters um it is very very crucial who you surround yourself with i think it's very very important and especially if your career starts being well which i hope all of you who i hear you know all of you all have absolutely spanking and sparkling and successful careers i do hope so um and when that happens i think it's very important to have the right people around you um what can happen which has happened in the past we've read i mean through uh, the history of indian cinema we've seen the rise of people and the fall of people and more often than not you see hear hear about the fall of people because they want to surround themselves only with people who will tell them yes and who will tell them what they want to hear um and i think that's the biggest challenge you know is to keep the i think in luck by chance there's that dialogue you know which i think they, they never forget the people who were with you when you were nobody you know i think that's very very important and i try my best to to i mean i'm not try my best i do you know like have those friends that i've had for a very long time um and again i mean sudhir is here uh, ashok ji is here they they know my parents they know my parents will never tell me anything to make me feel like you know you're you are you are amazing regardless i mean it's based on what you do it's based on on your actions um javed saab ne mujhse kaha tha dil chahta hai dekhne ke baad unhone bheja tha mujhe dekhne ke liye first बोला आप जा रहे हैं सर फरहान ने बुलाया था तो ए, बोला एक बात बताइएगा उसको काम आता है कि नहीं सक्सेसफुल होता है कि नहीं वो बाद में तो मैंने कहा नहीं आता है बोला फिर ठीक है तो फिर सब हो जाएगा <laughs> एक बार काम आना चाहिए उसके बाद सक्सेस और जो फेलियर है वो किसी दिन हो गई अगर आप ठीक से करते हैं बट यू आर इन द प्रोफेशन दैट यू आर मेंट फॉर एंड गुड एट Hello sir this is Zarina Ali Khan I'm from Hyderabad and uh, I just want to say to Sudhir Mishra sir that I loved your movie Hazaro Khaishe it's one of my favorites super everybody loves Hazaro yes. Khaishe as if they don't let me make a movie like that again <laughs> that's I another complaint <laughs> I mean if it is more popular than I am the film <laughs> I'm really upset with it actually. Sudhir is um, <laughs> Su- Sudhir had done a brilliant role in Traffic Signal. I mean, one of the dogs. I mean, I mean, wherever <laughs> I go, I love outside. Hazaro Khaishe. Will I make a movie like that? No, 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 no. Let's make this one. <laughs> I am um, making another one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. No, no. Yes sir. My question is like um if the film is a silent film and the BGM plays the major role in the film So do should we work on the BGM before we go on the sets or like after? Hmm I I don't know how to answer this question to be honest with you. If if it's a silent film. Um well I mean I would I I have never made a silent film so I've never uh, really had to think about this. Like the storytelling is with the music. Right. No then I would assume that you'd have to do the music. The music before. has to be Yeah, yeah you'd have to create certain themes we... I guess that you'll have to work with. Because it becomes will... like a song pictureization almost. I, yeah, it would, yeah. it would on some level, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, I don't know how else I can help you with with answering this okay, question. Okay, I just thought like it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> For answer, this is Sony here. Hi. I'm being the last person. I won't ask you any question. And I'm. I've been cutting the wood. I just want to compliment you on one thing. I really like your movie Bhag Mere Ka Bhag. Thank you. And it has motivated me for being the long runner, and I'm an athlete and a gymnast as oh. well. <laughs> Since you all had the first discussion that your dad wo dad didn't run on the treadmill, and uh, the second step we used to see that he is repeating. Yeah. And your dad and I meet daily in the beach, and he's no, really a really yeah, good yeah. person. Okay. My heart. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, all the best. All Javed sir was walking on the beach. Yeah, now he. Oh wow! He's finally started <laughs> taking <laughs> health and fitness very seriously. Yeah. Sir, my question is regarding the actor-director relationship. You being a person uh, who's had some 
20 years of experience and who started off a perspective of a director and moved to acting. Uh, me being an actor at times, I don't understand why this guy wants me to do it in a certain way. You have been in both the sides of the coin. So, can you please uh, enlighten some paradigm shift experience you probably had, you know, uh, when your perspective changed or it didn't, I don't know how it went for you. But right. you can share some personal experience. You've directed great actors and you've been uh, directed by fabulous directors. So. Hmm. Uh, you know, I, I think... I mean, if somebody is directing you and if you can't understand what it is that they're wanting, I mean, that's basically just bad communication. You know, it really is nothing else. Um, I, I think the, the worst thing, in my opinion, this is just my, my opinion, I think the worst thing that a director can do is perform and show the actor what the actor should be doing. I think that's the worst thing that they can do because if it comes to that, I really feel then the director should just do it themselves. You know, and you don't need an actor to do it because there's no... You want to explain to the actor and bring the actor to a place where, like you're saying, you understand what it is that is being asked of you. Um, it, would be, it is also very unfortunate if this conversation needs to happen on set. It should really happen in, in a room where readings are happening and preparation is happening. So you don't really break a flow of, of a scene when it's being shot. Um, and when you arrive at that place with hopefully good communication with each other, you know, then it's the actor's job to have understood that, absorbed it, and because he or she is that character, to then take it to a level that the director can, can only fantasize about taking it. But um, we spoke about this earlier, you know, I did get more understanding of an actor's psyche and of an actor's insecurity, and the fact that, see, as a writer and a director, you live with a script for much longer than the actor does. You know, you've written scenes, you've rewritten scenes, you've deleted them, you've brought them back. You know, it's, there's a huge process. So by the time you've gone to an actor with a script, you know it backwards. And within a few days or within a few weeks, you're expecting the actor to also know it backwards. You know, and at times that may be not possible. Uh, you, it may need a little bit more work. It may need more time with them. And these are things, like I said, because I, I didn't have formal training to be able to deal with it. This, these are things that I did learn. You know, so when I, for example, uh, I had not acted in a single film at that point. Uh, that was in 2006. And in 2008, I acted in Rock On, which was the first film. Uh, and then I directed them again in 2010 for Dawn 2. And both of them told me that you're completely a different person from when you were, from what you were in 2006. So they used to be scared of you in 2006. That they you know, that's what they used to feel and they're like, now it feels like but if we can speak Tell me something, uh, uh, this happens in a very minor way with us also because right. of television as directors, you know, now you give interviews. Sorry, I hope that answers your question. Okay, sure. So you are kind of recognized. It happens far more with you because now you're an actor star. So does the celebrity dumb get in the way of observation as a writer? You know, like if I go back to Lucknow and, right. and my, the Tunde Kawab shop, hmm. I'm no longer that boy from Lucknow. I can't sit uh, anonymously because of television. Right. You know, if Salman didn't come, then Sudhir Mishra is going to take a photo. So it becomes a bit like that. No, we are also, you know, stars in the absence of real stars. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm just saying, does that get, I mean, you are a real star, so does that get in the way of observation? Well, uh, it... It definitely is not as easy as it uh, used to be, uh, for sure. But I feel that if you really are interested, if you, if you are a student yeah. of experience, if you are a student of life, if you are a student of observation, you'll find a way to do it. Mm. You know, I, I think it's an excuse to say, yaar, many ja sakta, wal, log ho it's, it's an excuse. Mm. You're not going for an event. You yeah, know, yeah. You're, if you're just, it's very easy to actually go out, find within whatever is accessible to you, how much ever you can afford, you know, travel to a place, go to a place where you can be relatively, yeah. you know, left alone mm. to observe things. And I think experience, whether you're an actor, whether you're a writer, whether you're a director, I think experiencing life outside film mm. is so crucial. You know, because otherwise what happens is you just start living and creating a life and when you write and when you direct, you're just, your reference points are other people's movies mm. and other people's characters and yeah. other people's scenes and you're completely devoid of anything that's real anymore. You're just basing everything on what you've seen mm. in a film. Mm. You know, so to go out and... It's very, very crucial. I mean, I think if anything, 
you know, as a student of film is at times forget about film and just go and live outside it. I think that's that's equally as important. It'll rejuvenate you. It'll give you things. It'll give you tools. You know, to whether you want to create a character, write about things. Um, it's that is something that you should never ever stop doing because you're busy. I'm busy with film, so I can't go. I'm busy with the show. I'm busy with this. You have to make time to go out and just experience life outside this bubble of of the film industry for sure. Good. Thank, thank you, Farhan. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, while we come to the end of this uh, masterclass, I request my EC members of Fitra to please come on the stage. Ye uh, executive members are uh, Ashwini, Bali Grover. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A big applause to all of them <coughs> who have worked day in and day out for 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 uh, for for this uh, masterclass and. Thank you so much for, for the director's session for doing all this, you know, because finally alive and we are all participating. So don't thank me, I'm part of this. No, uh, Farhan, uh, oh, Farhan we, yeah. we, we really are from the core of our hearts, on behalf of everyone, we are really thankful to you that you sat with us today and you gave out your experience to all of us. And this, is what, this is what is the requirement, this is what the next generation, this generation, uh, you know, uh, really craves for. So we are all thankful to you with a, with a, with a fantastic applause to Farhan and to Sudhir Ji. Iftida, uh, Iftida is an organization where all the directors and assistant directors and creative directors are part of it. Uh, we have uh, uh, all the directors who are, are a part of this entire organization and we thank all the directors who always stand by us in any hour of uh, crisis. A small announcement I would like to make to all of you, uh, which I already discussed with, uh, with Farhan and uh, with Sudhir, we, the executive committee members, uh, are working out, and I'm, ho I, I'm sure, I'm, and very confident about it, with people like Farhan, Sudhir, and all other directors, uh, we are mooting a plan, the IFTDA is mooting a plan to build an old age home for the industry, for the, for the, for the film industry. Uh, because uh, this is a very chronic problem. Recently you saw, uh, you keep on hearing this issue every three, four months, some old person on the road, some here. Recently you saw about Geeta Kapoor. So we, with the support of Farhan and Javed Saab and all the people, we have got tremendous support. We need your good wishes, we need your blessings to see to it that this dream of Iftada comes to a uh, success and you know, we all will be uh, doing a great job for the, for the industry. One final announcement. Along with applause to Farhan and Sudhir, nobody is allowed to come backstage and on the stage after the function. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.